everyone, this is Adrian Casada of Black Pumas here for a riff rundown. I'm going to break down our song Fire off our debut self-titled album. Uh, Fire was the first song Eric and I recorded, so it's always been a special one to me. It's kind of an up-tempo, funky soul number, and it's in A minor. It starts with a band vamp that's just going... <laughs> Then it gets to the main riff. Now the main riff is very inspired by the late great Italian film composer Ennio Morricone who left this earth as of a few days ago. So this is in honor of him and it's very much inspired uh, by one of his compositions. So of course a lot of uh, that spaghetti western sound is I think reverb was used to kind of capture this you know great uh, old west kind of sparse um, landscape so there's a lot big dose of spring reverb on the recording there's actually two guitars that double did one has a lot of spring reverb the other one has a lot of plate reverb and is actually going through um, my trusty echoplex over here so I'm gonna show you how to play that first riff and then I'm gonna break it down for you <laughs> This riff is all in A minor, all pentatonic, and I play it all on the same string on this bottom uh, six string, just kind of for effect. I can cut off notes quicker there. I can um, hold them. It sounds a little bit fatter. So it's kind of all triplet strumming. So the first note is an A on the uh, fifth fret six string. Then it goes up to the eighth fret uh, C, down to the third fret for a G, all the same pattern. To F on the first string, and then I slide this F all the way to the tenth fret, D. Bend it for a little extra sauce there. One more time, A, fifth fret, eighth fret, C, down to F, slide it up to D, bend it a little bit, a little walk down for extra sauce goes into the verse. The verse is in A minor as well, and uh, I'm a big fan of rhythm guitar playing. And uh, so for this tune, I'm actually just kind of playing uh, scant chords that kind of line up on two and four with the snare. So it's just going... Just top two or three strings of the, of the chord on A minor in this position. I also like to double bass lines, and in particular on this song, I doubled it, so I'm going... Again, I'm playing the bass note on the uh, sixth string down here so that I can kind of cut it off rhythmically. So it's going all in A minor. So for the verse, then it goes up to the four chord to D, and it, this is in major. Dominant seven. A minor, one chord, goes up to the D to four. Now for the chorus, it has a little trick that I like to do a lot on certain songs, and it's going from major to minor or minor to major on the same chord in the same song. So from there, you're going from D major to D minor, and the guitar gets a little bit busier on the chorus. Up to the five chord to E minor. D minor, and it starts to walk down on C major. Then it has a quick bar, 2-4 on B minor 7. Back to the verse. A minor. Up T. D. So we'll skip to the chorus again here. D minor. E minor. that C. Again, that little quick bar of B minor 7. And then 
it has a sort of bridge turnaround section where basically you engage your tremolo all the way as deep as you can. And it's all arpeggios in this position starting on the fourth fret in uh, this position right here, starting from A minor. And it's just arpeggios, just three notes. Again, very inspired by the late great uh, Ennio Morricone. So it goes A minor, G major, C major, D major, E major. There was something about just going major all the way up and not uh, making those chords any more complicated than they needed to be that I thought was really cool, kind of quirky and funny. And yeah, that's the little turnaround. So from there, F major, we kind of hang there and it comes back into that intro riff. That's all the guitar parts you are now in on all the secrets of playing this song. You can play it yourself. Hope this helped. Hope you dug that. If you want to hear more, drop it in the comments. We'll do our best to respond. And hopefully we can do another one of these. Thank you all for listening.